What's up, YouTube? Y'all know who it is. It's your girl, Talia, and we are back on YouTube. You guys, today is the day. Today, we are listening to the Ariana Grande 6 album, which is usually, or everyone's really calling it, AG6. This album is called Positions. It is the single she released last week. And speaking of this for react, this reaction album reaction here, I already heard Positions, so I'm not going to be reacting to it again. If you guys want to check out my reactions to Positions, go check it out on my YouTube channel. So if you guys hear background music playing in the background, it's because my older brother, he literally has been obsessed with singing songs, karaoke, and recording them and listening to them. So if you hear background music, that's his music. We're not paying attention to his music. So anyway, back on this, you guys, it is October 30th. We are one day away from Halloween. I know I said in my other videos that I was probably going to try to film or watch another Halloween movie with you guys, but I don't think that's going to happen, you guys. I'm probably going to just watch a bunch of Halloween Disney Channel videos that's been released. Like I know Zombies have been re releasing Addison's Moonstone Mystery stuff, so I'm probably going to watch that. I'm probably going to watch other stuff I've been wanting to react on this channel, but I never got around to. So with, any, with that being said, this album right here, I haven't heard nothing at all. I haven't heard a snippet. I, I've been off social media all day yesterday and all day today. I literally had to mute my notifications on social media because I know all of them were going to say, even my friends they were calling and texting me they were like have you heard her album i was like no i'm waiting to film it <laughs> for my youtube video and i was like yeah i haven't heard anything of it but i just got on social media today one of my favorite youtubers his name is dante d'angelo i hope you guys heard of him he literally is a really funny youtuber when he reacts to some of his favorite artists he reacts to ariana grande a lot and the way he reacts to ariana grande it's me. It's what I'm feeling inside. I would love to yell and scream and go crazy. I would be doing that on this YouTube channel, but I live with two siblings, so that's not going to happen. But yeah, he said in a tweet, he tweeted, he was like, there was a couple songs he didn't like. Like it was an all right album, I think he said, but I, I haven't even seen that video. He released his Ariana Grande album reaction and I didn't get to see that. I just saw his tweet on Twitter. So without, without being said, I'm not going to make this video super long as it is. We're going to listen to every single song full way through. And hopefully this video does not get blocked on YouTube. Because if it does, I'm going to be so upset. I know there's a lot of copyright stuff. I'm going to say it on here. I do not have the rights to this. I don't own the music. Ariana does. She wrote all the albums. I mean, she wrote all the songs. So with that being said, we're going to listen to the album. We're going to listen to positioner Positions, you guys. <laughs> So let's listen to the first song. It's called Shut Up. My predictions for this album, hopefully there are some bops. I'm not mad at the ballot too. You know, I just hope this is a good album. Thank you, Next, Slam, Sweetener. I like a couple songs off those. Dangerous Woman, phenomenal. My Everything, phenomenal. And Yours Truly, slaps. All right, so let's jump right in, you guys. First song, Shut Up, Will. Commence in three, two, one, and play. Okay, so this is probably gonna be like a ballad. brothers all the time. If I need them to shut up, I'm going to play this. Okay. 
it's just song. It's an alright song. And I'm like, I like this. I like this harmonizing thing here. But this is an alright song. I would sing this song to my brother. I for real would do this. This is alright, okay. Alright. Because this is like an alright song. It's a chill song. There's like some magical tingly thing going on in this song though. Okay. Alright. Ooh, it sounds all dark and scary as it's fading. Okay, I paused. Alright, so that was Shut Up. And it was an alright song. It was a chill song. It was a cool song. It wasn't... I it was it got that magical I like that harmonizer thing it had that magical tingly thing going on and then at the end it got all kind of scary and yeah it was all right it was chill I wouldn't say this is my favorite but I definitely will be singing this song to my brother every time I need him to shut up so the next song we're gonna be listening to is called 34 plus 35 which equals 69 that's the thing I heard a lot of great things about the song I heard this song here is number one on the U.S charts itunes charts i think it's or i don't know i heard it's number one number one period <laughs> so i'm assuming this is going to be a really good song hopefully this is a bop i want to see what all the fuss is because i heard that this song is number one right now so we're going to listen to it it's 34 plus 35 which equals 39 <laughs> so here it is 34 plus 35 it will commence in three two one and play I think I'm crazy. The way I've been craving. Okay, we got some claps. Just give me the babies. So I should say, give them the, the give me them babies. Okay, I can put my shoulders. Drink that coffee. Eating healthy. I'm like me. Alright. This is danceable. I can see why this number one, okay? I actually like this. This is a new era. This is a new era for Ariana, you guys. I can see why this is okay. This is definitely one of my favorites. I'm not really paying attention to the lyrics. Like, I am. I'm trying to. It's just whenever I hear a new song, I just listen to it. I hear some lyrics, but I'm definitely going to go on Genius and look up these lyrics to these songs. I'll stay up tonight. This is a really good song, okay? One of my favorite. I can see why this is number one.
All right, that was 34 plus 35. This was a really good song. I can see why this is number one. Hold on, I gotta pause for the next song. Okay. Okay, I pause. Okay, so I, I give this song, okay, let me rate it. I'm gonna try to rate them. Shut up, I give it a, um. I'm gonna do this out of 10. I think I'll give Shut Up a six out of 10. Just cause it's all right, it's cool, it's chill. It wasn't like something that like it was. It had moments. It had its moments. So get me wrong. It had the harmonies. It had that magical thing going on, and at the end, it kind of got scary. <laughs> yeah, I liked it, but I give it a six out of ten because it was all right. It was chill. It was cool. Now thirty four plus thirty five, I give it a nine out of ten, just because it was. It got me dancing. But I haven't heard a song so far where it's 10 out of 10, like phenomenal, high notes, vocals, things that get me up and I'm screaming at the point. <laughs> but yeah, next song we're going to listen to is called Motive with Doja Cat. I heard good things about this song. I It was on Twitter, you guys. So everything, every time I say I heard this and I heard that, it was all my info was from Twitter. So yeah, I heard good things about this song. It's called Motive with Doja Cat. So let's jump right in. Okay, motive, motive with Doja Cat will commence in three, two, one, and play. <laughs> This is danceable too. It's also giving me Doja Cat vibes. I think like with this type of beat, it's like a Doja Cat vibe. We got the What's your motive? What's your motive? What's your motive? Alright. This is good too. I got a couple of from a mile away. Don't say you want me. Yeah, if you can keep me back for me. I'd have to curb you if you just can't go straight. Just say what you This is dancing too. It's like cause I see you trying. Supplementally trying. Alright, I like this beat here. Ariana, her new era, you guys. What's your motive? Hey, here's Dojo. Let's go. Let's see. Now you wanna spoil me? Did you wanna trophy? Oh, you wanna spoil me, baby? Why her voice like that? If it's like she's trying to rap on here, okay, I can see it. And just listening to some of Doja Cat songs before, it don't sound like this. I'm not hating with Thorn Shade. I'm just saying why her voice. Like, I'm just saying why, why her voice sounds different on here. Kind of sounded a little bit like some Nicki Minaj. Alright, this is alright too. It was chill. I liked it. Okay. Alright. So, no! Okay. <laughs> so, Motive with Doja Cat, I rate it or give it a 7 out of 10. Just because it was alright. It, it's kind of a little bit like shut up to me. I was vibing. Not like shut up. It was like, it was alright. It was cool. It was chill. Doja Cat's part. I was like, wait, why does she sound like that? Not to throw shade or hate. Like It's like she sounds different on this album. 
And I don't know if, if she was trying to rap on here. Okay, I can understand why. Because when I hear her songs like Say So, she sounds completely different. But yeah, this song, Motive was all right. It was chill. I wasn't like, oh my, like, I think this is going to be like a chill album. If my predictions are right, this might be a chill, danceable song. Like, it's not going to be a beat. It's not going to be what we know Ariana as with her high notes and vocals. Well, who knows? I'm just saying that because we're already on the fourth song. And speaking of the fourth song, the fourth song is called Just Like Magic. And that title reminds me of the name of a TV show I used to watch as a kid. It's called H2O Just just add magic but this is just like magic but oh yeah speaking of h2o i have not seen that in a long time and i think that might be my new tv series reaction stuff on my channel so stay tuned for that in the future but the first thing i gotta do is i gotta finish total drama island and i gotta finish my base is a vampire all right so anyway back to the album here so just Like Magic will commence in three, two, one, and play. Okay. Wake up in my bed, I just want to have a good day. Get in my head, then it happens how it should. Hey, 12 o'clock, I got to see a meet, and then a meditation at like 1.30. Then I ride to the studio, listening to some spells. Hey. Hey. She said just like magic, I'm attractive. Come on, Ariana. She finessed it. Oh, it stopped for a moment. Like, wait. She said middle finger to what? See, that's why I got. I got. I'm a. I'm a read the octaves. Come on. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I need. Okay. This song about. Middle figure, okay. I'm looking up these lyrics, you guys. Oh, yes, you. She said, I get everything I want because I'm attractive. You are beautiful, Ariana. You are talented. You are many things, Ariana. Okay, I love this song. All right, okay, yes. Okay, so just like magic, I give that an 8 out of 10. Yes, okay. So, so far, rating, so number one, 34 plus 35. Second, just like magic. Three has to be motive and four, shut up. All right, yes, okay. Like, this is what I'm talking about. I needed that kind of vocal high stuff going on, like, Whenever she sings high and whenever she does that vocal thing, whistle tones, I'm deceased. I'm living. I'm gagging. I'm a bunch of words. But yeah, next song. It's called Off Yeah, Off the Table with the Weekend. Now he now she did a song with the Weekend back on the My Everything album, which was called Love Me Harder. I still live for that song. So yeah, I, I'm very interested to see, because Love Me Harder, it had its moments. It wasn't like a big song where everyone was like, oh my God, Love Me Harder. Like that, 
my everything that's the thing yours truly came out and it was like okay ariana you say my everything came out and it was like yeah okay she got that like my everything is still my favorite album between that and dangerous woman because i love them both and dangerous woman that was when everyone was like oh my god this girl is so talented she could sing because she had all these bops on there then sweetener came out and some people thought it was an all right album but we all loved god as a woman on that one then thank you next came out worldwide everyone's loving it and now we have this album so next song off the table yeah <laughs> okay i'm reading it right off the table with the weekend we'll commence in three two one and play <laughs> all right something new something different Okay, this is a slow. Yeah. I can go into an Ariana Grande trance with this song. The vibes, the beat, the way it's going. falling asleep to this not in a bad way it's just i'm just saying ariana's voice can put me to sleep okay weekend all right I'm just imagining music videos at this point. I'm wondering what Ariana's gonna do, what songs she's gonna pick to make music videos for. You know, we saw positions when she was the president, we were like, oh! five and y'all okay i give this an eight out of ten too i give this an eight out of ten too just because it's good for being a ballad in a slow song no nope. okay there we go like it was i was vibe y'all saw me i'm swaying this song got me almost falling asleep like ariana could put me to sleep okay <laughs> so i give this an eight out of ten so 
still let me see just like magic number no 34 plus 30 35 number one just like magic number two um motive number three um off the table number four and shut up for number five okay next song we're listening to is called six what's it called 6 30 oh yeah and i heard some things about this song too because Mac Miller has an unreleased song called 6.30 and Ariana's coming out with this song called 6.30. So it's like, uh, and I think I saw on Twitter, somebody tweeted, rest in peace, Mac Miller. I don't know if it's the anniversary of his death. If it is, rest in peace, Mac Miller, we love and miss you so much. I have to look it up and see if it's true. But yeah, let's listen to 6.30. 6.30 will commence in three, two, one, and play. Be on some booze. No, I'll be driving you crazy. But I know you love how I wear it. You could only stay mad for a minute. Oh, yeah. So come here and give me some I don't know if this is the explicit you know version I'm, I'm listening delicious. to. I don't think it is. You know but when Ariana Grande cusses, I'll be like, I just wonder, baby, if you're gonna stay. She said she'd be on some BS. <laughs> All right. I know that you're kind of heavy. I just want to tell you directly. So, why not me come if you're ready? This is a completely different album. Are you down? What's up? Okay. We down. You know you be on some boot, boot. Act up as that's been crazy. All right, like this. It's just because you love me, and you ain't scared to show me you're ugly. I think I might have to change my number one song. Come on, Ariana. And it's crazy how she wrote all the lyrics to this, these songs on this album. It just goes to show Ariana is talented when it comes to writing lyrics. This was so unique. It was so different, and I loved it so much. Woo! Yes. Okay. Let's see. All right. So, I give this song. You guys might be mad, but this is just my opinion. That's the thing. This reaction video I'm doing, this is for my opinion, how I feel about the song. But, anyway. I give 630 a 10 out of 10. I think it's a great song. I think it's unique. I think it's different. I think there's something. It's a vibe song. You could dance to it. Like it has something unique about it. And that's why I love it so much. And I give that a 10 out of 10. So rating. 630 is my number one. 34 plus 35 second. Just like magic is three. Um, What is it? Oh yeah. Motive is four. Off the table five. Shut up is six. That is what my rating is. All right, next song is called Safety Net featuring Ty Dolla Sign. Yeah, Ariana hasn't done hasn't done a song with Ty Dolla Sign. Ty Dolla Sign 
I love his song. I love the song he did with Fifth Harmony. I love the song he did with Bad Baby. Yeah, I pretty much only listen to Ty Dolla Sign if he's featuring with someone who I listen to. I know he has a great voice. I know he's talented. But let's just jump right in. Safety Net featuring Ty Dolla Sign will commence in 3, 2, 1, and play. This whole entire album is completely different. Like, that's what I love. You know you really something good. How we get here so damn fast. Only you could tell me that. Baby, cause you know I'm coming back. You're making me forget my past. Never thought I'd feel like that. Again, back in the peace with my past. Now you got me out track. I like this. Different beats plus Ariana's voice. Okay. It's alright, it's true. I like it. Let your guard down, girl. Let your guard down. Let your guard down. Let your guard down. They sound really good together too. How long are we in here? We're 32 minutes in, in this video. I really hope this does not get blocked on YouTube. I do not own the rights to this. If this gets blocked, I'll be so upset. Like, I wasted what I believe how long it will be an hour of time editing and putting it together. This is like some tropical kind of tribal thing going on. I definitely can imagine this in a movie. Put me to sleep, Ariana! Not in a bad way. Like... I feel like I could listen to this album to put myself to sleep. And I usually never listen to music to put me to sleep. Yes! She is so talented. Oh my god. I have loved Ariana Grande for such a long time. I want to say eight years now. Eight years I have loved Ariana Grande. And I'm so happy to be an Arianator. I'm proud to be one. This album is it's cool, it's true, I love it. It's something new, it's something different. New era for Ariana Grande, you guys. Alright. So just like that, let me see. Okay. So I scroll down to the next half of the album, so I'm not gonna do the whole listing thing yet. But I will rate this. I rate this. I will give it a 7 out of 10. It was alright. It was chill. It was different. And I loved it. But giving it like an 8 or a 9. It just. I don't know. Numbers work weirdly for me. Like I can't say a 6. Because no. It's not like that. I can't say it's an 8. Because it's not like that. So that's why I'm saying a 7 out of 10. It was good. It was chill. And I loved it. Okay Ariana. She got some chill cool songs. That's why I said this is a new era for Ariana. This is something new. This is something different. I love it. Next song is called My Hair. I heard a lot of good things about this song. I heard a lot of people, this is one of their favorite songs and it's called My Hair. And let's just jump right in, you guys. Let's just jump right in. All right, My Hair by Ariana Grande will commence in three, two, one, and play. Okay, we got guitars. Okay. 
give you some instructions that you can't be scared to try. I want you to touch it something. Off the bat got me dancing. <laughs> This is like some chill one two step song. I can make up a dance and do some one two steps to it. Don't you be scared. We got saxophones, okay. Bring that saxophone in, Ariana. Just like these inches down my back Usually don't let people touch it But tonight you'll get a pass Spend my dimes and <laughs> She said so usually I don't let people touch it track. But for you but I'll I give a pass care. Okay I mean that's the thing too You so ever really see nobody touching Ariana's hair But she said for you you get a pass Baby, Okay I'm liking these six Ariana This is a cool chill song too. I'm vibing, but it's also chill and it's cool. These lyrics are funny to me. I mean, some lyrics. No, I just, I was just, I just had a funny thought in my mind when she said, "Oh no, I don't let nobody touch my hair, but for you, I'll, I'll give you a pass." <laughs> yes, whistle tones. Whistle. Okay, so my hair, I rate that an 8 out of 10. I really liked it. It was chill, but it was also, I was vibing and it was dancing. That that song could be made as some like one, two step song. Like, I hope on TikTok, I don't know what song people are going to choose to make a TikTok dance out of it. We don't know. We have to see. But <laughs> yeah, I could do a one, two step. Like, you know how y'all do the Cupid Shuffle or the Cha Cha Slide or like just songs some one two step song i feel like my hair could be used as like a one two step song so next song is called nasty okay the song nasty i feel like i heard about it over a year ago that's the thing i think something got leaked like somebody revealed oh ariana on her new song she's gonna have a she, on her new album is gonna be one of her songs is gonna be called nasty like i feel like a song title got leaked but yeah uh i haven't heard any news about the song yet i just heard a couple of news about the song so let's just jump right in let's just listen to nasty all right nasty by ariana grande will commence in three two one and play wait why would i thought the, the what okay because when it opened up i thought it was i was thinking of the way by ariana grande and mac miller <laughs> The way it opened up, I was like, wait, is this the the way by Ariana Grande and Mac Miller? Me my feels. Keep it real. Make time. Nice for you. All right. This is different. I like it. Yes. Harmonize. Okay. This is different. This is chill. Right. 
Break that habit. Break that habit. I gotta look up these lyrics. Okay. This is new. This is different. That's why I said this is a new era for Ariana Grande. I don't think she's going to do how she usually do on her other albums. I don't think she's going to make all bops, all danceable, upbeat songs or vocal songs. She's going to definitely have some chill songs. She's definitely going to have some ballads. And I'm just really excited for the new Ariana Grande era, you guys. It's 2020. Thank you, God. Thank you. Ariana Grande is saving us in 2020. She's encouraging us to vote. She releases a music video where she's president. And she comes out with this album. Feeling this song. Come on. Okay. I like this song a little bit more because of this high note thing going on. Come on. Yes. What you waiting for? Okay. All right, nasty. I can give that an eight out of ten. I was about to give it a seven out of ten, just by the way you vibe. But when that high note stuff happened at the end, okay, you get an extra point. You get eight out of ten. Okay, so this album so far, it's chill. It's unique. It's different, but it's also still giving me this upbeat vibe, and that's what I love about this album. All right, next song is called West Side. West Side. W E S T Side. Um, I haven't heard anything about the song. So let's just jump right in. I haven't heard anything about it. Okay, West Side by Ariana Grande will commence in three, two, one, and play. Okay. The openings to these songs, I'm like, what? I don't wanna think so much. I just wanna feel. I wanna feel the love you It's just the background, all it is is like spinning DVDs or spinning tapes. I'm a fan of these vocal singings, but the background music, I'm not a fan of. It's all right, you guys. It's, it's, it's an all right song. I'm not a big fan of that spinning tape DVD thing in the background. Wait, that's it? Oh, that was quick. That was a quick song. Okay, hold on. That was quick. Okay. So I give... West Side, I'm sorry to say it, but it's just my opinion. I give it a 5 out of 10 just because I wasn't a fan of that background thing going on. 
but her vocals were slaying. The harmonizing was slaying. It's just I wasn't feeling it. I'm sorry, guys. I love Ariana Grande. I really do. But West Side is just not it for me. Okay. Next song is called Love Language. I heard some things about it. I didn't hear things. All I know is that people really like this song. So let's just jump right in. Love Language by Ariana Grande will commence in three, two, one, and play. All right, come on. This is like some, I can't even think of the name. Have me get up and dance, Ariana. Like this drumming thing, the pianos, okay, yes. Come on, Ariana. Okay, she's talking a little fast, so I can't really understand the lyrics. It's all right, because I'm looking it up. All right, it's an alright chill song. Woo! Harmonize. She said we speak in tongues, okay? Come on with these lyrics, Ariana. She said we speak in tongues, okay? I just feel like this whole entire album so far, it's like about love. Because I know Ariana's in a relationship with her boyfriend. So, you know, when she has a boyfriend, when she's happy, she's going to release all songs about love and happy. Woo! All right. Oh, this was kind of a little bit short, too. Not short, short. This ain't no new song. Okay, I got to go back and listen to that part. All right, wait, okay. Okay, so I give this song a 7 out of 10. It was a right with you. I loved it. Her lyrics, snapping. Vocals, snapping. It was all right. That's what I said. This is an all right chill album. And I'm not mad at it. Okay, so next song is called Positions. We already heard this in my YouTube channel. So you guys, if you guys want to hear my reaction to that, and watch the music video. I have two videos. I have the lyric video reaction and I have the music video reaction. So you guys go check it out on my YouTube channel. So we're not going to listen to Positions again. Even though Position snaps. I could talk about it for a, a mi minute here. So Positions really did snap. It was definitely a song I really, really liked. And I, can, and I loved how she chose that song as her first single. So yeah. That's positions, you guys. <laughs> my whole reaction is on my YouTube channel. So if you guys want to see my reaction to that, go check it out on my YouTube channel. So let's see. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> so the next song is called Obvious. Uh, I haven't heard anything about this song. And after Obvious, it's a song called POV. And then we're done with this album. All right, so let's just jump right in, you guys, because I don't want to make this video too long. We're, we're 50 minutes into this video. Okay, let's go. Obvious by Ariana Grande will commence in three, two, one, and play. Love you in the morning, keep me warm and 
Nothing else, nothing more important Makes me wanna be a Leo in love And I'd have thought of us in the evening Crave the feeling Crave that feeling feel something about a feeling I'm praying we don't miss us uh -huh. Others that I've had had to impress me before Alright, I like this beat here well, I like this here. Spell it out. Free. Loyalty. It's chill, but it's also, I really like this. Pack a suitcase too. I really like this, some of the things she's doing. I like what she's doing here. I like that, okay. Okay, I really like this song. Okay, she did that. All right. Okay. I really like this, all right. Okay. So obvious, I give that a eight out of 10. Just because it was different, it was show. I was vibing with the lyrics. It was show. That's what's I keep saying, I keep repeating this, you guys, but this is a chill album. This is like a chill album. This is like a perfect album to listen to on quarantine or lockdown. Basically, this whole thing that we're in. Okay, so the last song we're going to listen to, we're listening to on this album. It's called POV. I heard some things about it. It's definitely a really popular song out there, I heard. So let's just listen to it. Last song, you guys. This is POV by Ariana Grande. It will commence in three, two, one, and play. I heard good things about this song. And this is the last song, you guys. <laughs> Like you got superpowers. Superpowers. Her, her voice is so pretty. Okay. I can see why this is a number, not number one, but just up there at the charts. Okay, that's what I'm talking about, Ariana. End this album with your vocals and your high notes. End this album with that. Trust her. Trust her. Point of view. I'm getting used to receiving Still getting good at not leaving Her voice, oh my gosh, her voice I am chilling I'm in an Ariana Grande trance again, you guys
I love those oohs, yes, oohs. <laughs> point of view. I better trust her. Trust me. Love me like you do. Point of view. I couldn't believe it. Okay, Ariana. Change it up. Yes, change it up. I'm happy that she, she decided to end the album with this song. Don't keep her waiting. Come on, Ariana. Yes! Yes! This is what I'm talking about. Yes, Ariana. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. End this up. Go. Come on, Ariana. Yes. 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 Ooh, I really like this song too. Yes. Oh my gosh, she did that. She did this album, you guys. Yes. Okay. So, it's time to rate this entire album. It's time to talk about this entire album. And I'm not going to make it long because this video is almost an hour long. So, I rate this whole entire album an 8 out of 10. Because some of the songs, yes, other songs were chill. Other songs, I wasn't kind of feeling. So, that's why I give it an 8 out of 10. A 10 out of 10 for me would be like, all albums are bops, all albums. I love the whole entire album. I loved every single one song. 9 out of 10 for me would be like, oh, some are bops and others are just chill songs. I give it an 8 out of 10 just because the point of the fact is it was songs I didn't kind of feel or like. But yeah, this was an, a great chill album. This was really, really chill. This was really, really great. I love POV. I love 630. I love 34 plus 35. Those are the songs I'm just listening off the top of my head. I, I gotta go, I gotta go on Genius and read the lyrics of these songs because I heard a couple of lyrics. I heard lyrics and I didn't hear lyrics. And then I saw I think this was an explicit album, but I didn't get to listen to the explicit album. So yeah. But other than that, Ariana, thank you so much. If you're watching this, if you post this, if I really want Ariana Grande to see this video. So you guys share this video tweet it do whatever y'all do just make sure ariana notices check out this video you guys make sure ariana sees this if ariana if you're watching this i love you so much i have loved you for eight years of my life i literally bought posters of you i bought merch i bought your lipstick i've been to two of your concerts i didn't get to go to the dangerous woman one because my mom was sick but you know, I love you so much, Ariana. Thank you so much for the six album, AG6, you guys. And also, her song's positions on Twitter, every time somebody mentions on a tweet about positions, the like thing turns into a little flower instead of a heart, which I love. So thank you so much, you guys, so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow on Halloween. And you, got, and you guys will get to see me in my, you guys will get to see me in my costume. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Peace out, YouTube. Love y'all.